All right, I figure a video explaining what to do would be the most efficient thing here. Um, basically, you got this line here. You want to get that to 240 or beyond before you move on to this line. So once, once you get this up to 240 or beyond, that's it. You're done with it. No more. And then begin working on this line get it to 240 or beyond and then that's it you're done with it and then you start working on this now once you get that to 240 or beyond then you can start doing six notes a beat instead of three but as always if once you go to six notes per beat if you can't get to 120 your first practice session you need to go back down to three notes per beat and number two here, just the other thing, or the other ops, other way, hammer on, set the ball off. So, same deal. Get this line up to 240 or beyond, and then you can start working on this line. And once that's done, up to 240 or beyond, you start working on this line. So, you do not need to get this line and this line before moving on to the next one. So you might progress faster with the pull-offs, you might progress faster with the hammer-ons, you don't know. So I don't want you to wait to move on to another line for number one or two. Like you don't need to go to lines two for both exercises at the same time. If you end up making it to line three in exercise one, while you're still working on line one for exercise two, that's okay. Just get where you can. Uh, and yeah, that's really it for that stuff. Um, the other suggestion was, yeah, program some drums, get a drum beat going. So this way, you're just doing some kind of triplet feel, and just practice picking. Just make stuff up, whether it's chords, single note stuff. Just improvise some things. You know, like. About five minutes a day, I think, would be good. Um, you can vary the speeds. So maybe, you know, start off with like 100 beats per minute. And do that for like a minute or two. And then move it up to like 110, 120. So this way you can kind of gradually ease into the picking. Or you can start off with 120 or a little bit faster and just do little bursts. So what I mean by that... It's not going to be drums, but it'll, it'll at least be something. So let's say 130 is the thing. So instead of starting off with the constant right away, just like... Eventually, you just start picking longer and longer and longer, and do it to the point where your your arm starts getting tired. My tricep likes to get tired, so does my brachioradialis, that likes to get tired as well. So, pushing it to that point is a very good thing, to where you start feeling fatigue in your muscles, and this will build up that endurance. If you start feeling any weird twingy feelings like in the tendons or whatnot, I will get that. I will get like a twinge in the tendons, the connective tissue every now and then. And that tells me time to call it, time to take a break. So if you feel any connective tissue uh, weirdness, take a break. You don't want to push it any further. But if your muscles are just getting tired, that's a good thing. You do want to be in that realm in order to build up further endurance. So I hope that covers everything on uh, what we discussed yesterday and what to do moving forward for the next couple weeks and yeah with the ad and i just fill them out best you can uh usually you look for an octave of the root note in your triad chord and move that up and just remember that there are two positions there are two positions where a flat nine occurs so if any questions come up, let me know, and hope you have a great holiday. I will see you again in two weeks.